In today's video, I'm going to be renovating the Bloxburg Cozy Cottage into a modern house. So on my channel, I have a series where I renovate all the Bloxburg starter houses and so far we've done Happy Home of Robloxia, which is the OG starter home. And today we're doing the Cozy Cottage. So firstly, we have to buy it. Okay, so Happy Home of Robloxia we've done and today we're doing the Cozy Cottage, which is $20,000. Honestly, I don't think that's worth $20,000. It looks like $5,000 to me, but... And instead of the Cozy Cottage, we shall name her Cozy Cottage, more like best house ever. Okay, what is that name? Okay, here is the little cozy cottage. Oh my gosh, look at her. We have like a little balcony up here. Oh my gosh, okay, you know what? It does have a lot of potential, I'll say that. I think I've actually done this house before, I'm pretty sure. Except I didn't really have a theme. So this one is obviously going to be modern. So we have one bedroom over here, a little kitchen area back here. The dining area is kind of in the middle of the house, which is different. And then what's back here? Okay, this is the bathroom. It's a very small bathroom. And then back here is the, oh, master bedroom. Bedroom. Nice. And the master bedroom also has like a closet and its own ensuite, which is honestly pretty nice for a starter home. And the only rule in this challenge is that I can't add or remove any of the existing walls. So this layout is what I'm going to be working with. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, firstly, I have to delete everything because I mean, I don't want any traces of anything. <gasps> Actually, no, one of you guys taught me in the comments that I can bulldoze everything but the walls. Okay, walls keep. Let's have a look if this works. Please work. <gasps> look at that. Whoever taught me that hack. I love you. They just saved me like five minutes of deleting everything. Okay, that is actually perfect. So we have an empty slate to work with. So this is the layout. Obviously, we're not going to change anything. This is literally what we're going to be working with. Now, for the outside, I'm pretty sure they added these new wood textures and they actually look really nice. Oh my god, see? It's this wood grain. Look how pretty that looks. I'm actually obsessed with that. So I might do like a light beige like that. That looks kind of nice. And then to kind of make this like stand out more, we can have these like pillars on the side of the house. Okay, I think that's the color palette that I'm going to go with. So now we just have to color the rest of the house, which is going to be pretty easy. Now for the windows. Now, obviously, because it's modern, we're going to be using like modern windows. This room's going to be the lounge room. So I have to make sure like the windows aren't going to be blocking anything. So maybe if we do something like that, I want that to be like a lot of natural light that comes into the room because if it's a modern home, it's going to have to feel like a very open space. So I think that's good for the windows. I think I just might add like one frosted door here. Okay, that can be the door for outside, but on the inside, the doors are going to be a little bit different. I might just use these modern doors because they don't have like the frosted windows. Okay, so this room here is going to be obviously the bathroom. And then this room here is going to be the bedroom. And then bedroom number two. And then we can have a frosted door over here, which is going to lead into the bathroom. And then over here is where the closet's going to be. So instead of adding doors, I'm actually just going to add like a door frame. I feel like a door would kind of close up the space and we don't want that. Okay, doors and windows are done. So now we can paint the walls. So because it's modern, we're going to have to stick with like lots of whites. And then like the kitchen and the bathrooms can be marble. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I really like these tiles for the bathroom. And then on the walls, I really love this wood texture. So I think that's what I'm going to do for like the feature wall. Now for the roof. So obviously because it's a modern house, we're just going to stick to a flat roof. Also make this come out a little bit more so we can have like a little room for the balcony. Let's add like a little garden at the front here. And you know what? We'll also make this fancy. We can make like a little pond here. Okay, there we go. There's our little pond. I think that turned out pretty cute. We won't add too much to the garden, just like a few plants here and there. So I want this front porch to extend all over here. And then obviously because it's a modern house, we can use these white picket fences like this. And then we can use like these long carpets to kind of create the illusion of a footpath. Also just to make this extra fancy, we can use like landscape lighting. Okay, I think that's looking good so far. So now we can work on the inside. So what I want to do first is work on the entry area slash living room. Now for the fireplace, I think I might actually use this one to make this fireplace look really nice. We can put like a basic shape underneath it. We can change it to marble. And I mean, there you go. Look at that. And it doesn't take up that much room either. So it looks really good. And then we can just have like the TV above the fireplace. Is that safe? Probably not. But you know what? It's Bloxburg. We can do anything. Okay, now for the chairs, I feel like these wicker sectional lounges are like the perfect modern lounge. So I think I'm just going to like play around with them and see what I come up with. Oh my God, wait, that actually looks so good right there. Like, look at that. I'm just going to add some pillows, but not too many. And what I feel like this is missing is like a massive carpet. Now behind this couch, I want to have like a little console table. So I 
perfect. That one would look really nice. And then we can have some like weird modern decor items. I actually haven't used these bookends before. So you know what? I'm going to use them. There we go. I can't believe I've never used them before. Okay, now we just need like a little coffee table. So we can use this one because it's it's the same brand as the lounge, which is perfect. Oh my gosh, look at this lounge room. It's so cute. Over here, we do have like a little bit of empty space. So we can just make this like a little bookshelf. That actually looks kind of cute. My maximalist brain is telling me to add stuff, but because it's a modern house, I feel like less is better. Now for the entry area, we can put some towels on the hook rack. This is my new favorite build hack and I love it. For like a final touch, we can just add like a plant. I've been obsessed with these industrial pendants lately. So what I usually do is I add three like this and then I just change the length of them. And I feel like they look really cute. Oh, we can put this like leaning floor lamp that kind of like hangs over the lounge like that. Okay, perfect. I think that's the living room and the entry area done. So now we can move on to the kitchen back here. Now what I want to do is knock down the these walls and make it like one big open concept but I can't do that because that's a part of the rules so we're just gonna have to work with what we got okay so I don't usually use these modern counters but I feel like this is the perfect time to use them because I mean it's a modern build and then obviously with the space left over in the middle we can add the oven you know what we're gonna add this fancy $4,000 oven because we can we can just make the kitchen white with these like marble countertops oh my god what I really love about this kitchen is this window this massive window at the back I feel like it just opens up the space so much more we need some counters up the top here, obviously. Can't forget them. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot a fridge. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so silly. I told you, I always forget something. Not today, though. We're not going to forget a fridge. Guys, I can't believe I nearly forgot a fridge. Could you imagine? Everyone would scream at me. Okay, now we need the sink. Excuse me, why is the sink not sinking? Okay, you know how I said I wanted an open concept? Technically, I won't be deleting any walls, but there was no rules that said I can't use a clear door frame. Or we can do something cool. We can have pillars that go like along here like this. That actually looks so nice. Okay, and of course we need some like decor items in the kitchen. Coffee mug, boom. Toaster, boom. Microwave, boom. And then to make it nice and modern, we can use these classic neon horizontal lights at the back. See, look how cool that looks okay there we go i'd say the kitchen's done i'm gonna leave this bit empty and then i'm gonna work on the dining table now the dining table is a little bit tricky because it's like a weird dimension to work with so i might do like a round dining table and then just like a fancy fruit bowl in the middle for the lighting we need like a chandelier of some sort oh they actually have these like round chandeliers like this i don't like how it comes down so far though i feel like you'd definitely like hit your head on that okay i think that looks kind of cute there's also some empty space over here as well actually you know what would look really nice I see like a long elevated painting and maybe put like a lamp on this table. Okay, I think that is the lounge room and the kitchen all finished. And now we can work on the bedrooms and the bathrooms, which is kind of fun. I don't know which room to do first. I think I might save the master bedroom till last. So I guess we can do this bedroom first over here. So we'll add the crown molding first so I don't forget. And obviously on the bottom as well. Actually, we're not going to have any on this wall because this is going to be the feature wall where we're going to have the bed. Or maybe I've shared the bed here. I don't know. It's just because it's really awkward spacing for some reason. We're going to have the bed on this wall here. Okay, I think that's a nice color for the bed. I used tiles for the texture. But like it turned out good. That's what my bed covers look like in real life. Okay, so I don't want to add too many pillows and make it look too too overcrowded. Okay, there we go. Something like that is kind of cute. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this wall completely empty. So all we need here is this like two side tables. Well, I feel like these bedside tables are kind of modern. Okay, we can use that. Oh my god, wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna use these lights up here. Oh my gosh, that is so bright. Look at that. Okay, wait, we can do something like that. So it's hanging over the bedside table. That way we can have room to put stuff on here. Okay, we can have some like designer magazines. And then just for like a nice finishing touch, we can add like a few plants. Okay, there we go. I think that looks kind of cute. I'm also going to add like a few ottomans at the end of the bed. Actually, this is kind of perfect. I can just use these modern ones. And maybe in this corner, I actually might copy this from the living area and like put that in the corner like that. Okay, there we go. And the reason I'm not adding a TV is because I'm going to put the TV in the main bedroom. Also, we can't forget like a little clothing rack. Um, I don't know if I should add this one. I feel like it takes up too much space. Actually, we can just use a dresser. What am I doing? We can put it on this wall like that. Okay, and for some reason, I feel like this wall is lacking something something. I just don't know what that is. I'm actually going to give this room a little bit more personality so we can have like a little guitar in the corner. So I guess we can work on the main bathroom which is here and this bathroom is so tiny. It's literally only two by three. Like I don't even know how I'm going to make this look good. <laughs> now for the bathroom, um, there's a lot of windows here. There's not much privacy. So what I'm going to do is just use these like vertical blinds. So what I might do is actually copy the original layer of the building. I think it was kind of a good idea to put the bathtub here but they didn't have a shower so we can add like a shower 
above the bathtub. Okay, now for the toilet and the sink. This is gonna be a little bit confusing. I actually might change the door so it's like all the way over here. Oh, then that messes up the light. This is so annoying. Okay, the reason I moved the door to the corner is so I can fit like the toilet over here. Okay, there we go. That actually worked out perfectly. Okay, we can add this sink right here. And then at the bottom of the sink, we can fit these like towels. Or we can stack them in rows of three. That looks kind of cool. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay, this section of the starter house is done. So now we can move on to the last room, which is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has a closet and a ensuite, which is kind of cool. Okay, I'm just going to copy this bed from the other room. And instead of putting it along this wall or along this wall, I'm actually going to put it in the corner because I feel like the dimensions of this room are kind of tricky. Okay, I feel like the bed looks actually really good there. So what I might have over here is maybe like a little vanity desk. Okay, so console table over there. Okay, back to the other room. I'm actually going to give them a laptop. There you go. Okay, now back to the main bedroom. So I'm just gonna fill out this vanity table with like books and like pens and that. Okay, I feel like that's the desk all done. I really like the way that turned out. Okay, I feel like this space is a little bit empty. So we might add like a few plants. So just add like a rule of three. Okay, and there you go. Also, I forgot to add one, but we need a side table, obviously. So I think I might add like this little end table like that. And then maybe on top of it, we can have like a lava lamp and an alarm clock. Okay, there we go. Okay, now where I'm gonna add the TV is at the end of the bed. So what I'm going to do is put a basic shape at the end of the bed and then resize it. Then we can just put like a TV. See, there we go. Okay, now for the closet. So literally all I'm going to do is get these traditional drawer closets and kind of do something like this. That way you can't see like all the empty space in the back. Okay, there we go like that. Perfect. We'll also add some like wooden blinds on top of the closet just in case you want to like close it. Okay, so the room's done. Now we can work on the last room, which is the ensuite. So I'm just going to copy this bathtub from the other bathroom and then we can just put like a little wall here. Oh my god, wait, I came up with a genius idea. So we can put the door frame there and then we can put like a long curtain panel and look at that. It looks like a little shower curtain. Okay, so toilet can go there and then vanity table can go on this wall like that. And then finally, we can just add this little backlit mirror and I think we are done. Okay, the Bloxburg Cozy Cottage House is all renovated into this beautiful modern house and honestly, Honestly, I don't even recognize it. It looks so different. So this is how the outside turned out. I made sure to add like a little garden over here and I really love this pond. I feel like it was a nice touch. So as you can see across the road, this is what the original starter home looks like. And then this is the renovated one. So yeah, pretty trippy. I can't believe that house was this. But anyway, let's make our way inside. So we have like this pretty luxurious walkway, which is kind of cool. And then like a little seating area out here. Now coming inside the first bit of the house, which is the entry area. I I really love the way this turned out and I love this twisted wood as well. I'm so glad Bloxburg added that. And then I think this is genuinely like my favorite part of the house, which is the lounge room. I just love how elegant it looks. And yes, I changed all the TVs to Gordon Ramsay. Also, I wasn't sure how this fireplace was going to turn out, but I really like the way it ended up looking. And then over here, this was like a little bit of an empty space. So I just added like a little bookshelf over here. So yeah, that is the lounge room. And then over here, we have the dining room. I wasn't going to add a big one just because the space is very limited. And I felt like if I added a big dining table, Table, it would kind of take away the space. So back here we just have a few modern art pieces and then over here we have the kitchen and honestly I try to avoid like very white kitchens but um I feel like it turned out really nicely and I really like this big window as well. So this is the bathroom. Honestly for a three by two room I think this bathroom turned out pretty nice. Yes you can close the curtains for privacy obviously and then there you go and oh my god look how that sun I don't know if you guys can see it but look how that sun just like gleamed in that is so majestic. So yeah that is bathroom room number one all renovated oh my gosh guys look at look at um <laughs> look at one of my moderators he's really slaying it with that shark costume and then on this room we have bedroom number one i genuinely think this was like my favorite room i just absolutely love the way this turned out also i didn't know what was missing on this wall so i added a mirror and i felt like that kind of closed the space off a little bit and this is definitely a build hack that i'm going to use more often these pendants above the bedside table i feel like it makes the room look like 10 times more elegant and then instead of a tv i gave her a laptop instead so this is how the master bedroom turned out i genuinely love it so much i know i say that with every room but like oh my gosh it looks just so realistic for some reason i think what i love about this is the pond outside and this little desk here like you can kind of just sit here study and then look out to the pond like if this was my desk i would be studying all the time and then we have our little bed over here and what i love about this bed is that there's like a little tv at the end so yeah i think that turned out really cute and then back here we have more closet space and then finally we have the ensuite i think the ensuite actually turned out better than i expected but i really like this build hack that i came 
came up with. It's like um, a shower curtain hack. You literally just add a wall, a door frame, and then these shower curtains that you can open and close. And this kind of acts like a two-in-one, so it's a shower plus a bathtub, which is kind of cool. Also added like a little wall insert for the soap dispensers. And the total house value of the renovated cozy cottage came to $74,473. But yeah, definitely worth it because this house turned out beautiful. This is definitely my favorite renovation yet, and I can't wait to do the next one. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see me renovate the next starter home, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!